Were you alone? I was alone, yes. The whole night? Well, yes, the whole night. <laughs> well, I don't know why that's funny. Rush Limbaugh is asking Republicans to come out and vote, and vote for you in order to divide he, the party. He's always had a crush on me. <laughs> in the event of an unexpected drop in poll numbers, this plane will be diverted to New Hampshire. 2016 will be the return of the Golden Girls. That was a very popular, long-running TV series. <laughs> Wait, you want me to tell you what my husband thinks? My husband is not the Secretary of State. I am. <laughs> Let's say one day Chelsea says to you, you know, Mom, boy, those Republicans have some good ideas. I would miss her a lot. Really? <laughs> Came, we saw, he died. <laughs> I'm not sitting here as some little woman standing by my man like Tammy Wynette. You've been instructed not to say as much or be as outspoken. No? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I've heard that, but I never know who says it. I think it's wishful thinking on the part of some people. <laughs> hmm. Donald Trump? Isn't he the one that's like, ugh, you're all losers? <laughs> I do share his intention to make the debate and the legislative process as exciting as possible. I'm sure you will do that, uh, Mr. Army. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the best we can. You and Dr. Kevorkian. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I could go more stream of consciousness. You know, this is a huge election. You never know what might happen. Every idiot in the area is going to drive by honking now. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> that would actually be something that no other candidate has done, is to really go and... And go to a strip club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that I'll let somebody else be there. <laughs> I am uh, so grateful to him for a lifetime of... Uh, all kinds of experiences. <laughs> I really believe in making lemonade out of lemons. Yep. Okay. <laughs>